Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your intuitive messenger and your energy forecaster and ambassador of the Emissaries of Light. I like that new term for September the 1st, 2013. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I woke up this morning and I went, <sighs> Like I've been waiting to exhale all my life. It just feels good today. New month, kind of starting to shift into fall. Um, it's the 1st of September. Um, <clears throat> number one is our magician, knowing we have everything inside of us. We're off on our journey. We're starting to discover who we are. It's also number 16 day, which is kind of like that rumbling, grumbling, shifting, shaking, tearing everything down, digging up the garden, garden ready to have a clean slate to plant and start with, which also boils down to number seven, which is chariot, quick, fast moving. So pretty powerful day today, you know, um, uh, with the magician, with the tower, with the seven um, chariot card. So um, feels like it's gonna be a good month. Now, because it is Sunday, it's three card Sunday, and because it's the first of a month, I'm going back to my spread. I will put that right here, you can click on. If you're watching from a phone, you'll have to look down in the comments and see the link. And the link is going to take you back to my full spread that I did on December 30th of 2012, which was for the entire month. And that card was the Knight of Swords. The funny thing is, is my Knight of Swords, Fabian, is calling me right now on the phone. So I find that very interesting. So the Knight of Swords, which is take flight, you know, take off. It, it was a short and sweet read for that day um, when I did it. Uh, but uh, it's very much about um, mentally jumping and going. You know, this is the this is the month not to think too much, but to just dive into it. Use your logic more than anything. Get out of your heart a little bit, and just go for it this month of September. So now let me pull three cards, which will echo more of this month. So this is not just for today. This is for the entire month. We're jumping off the platform of the Knight of Swords. First card is going to be Emperor. Very nice. We're going to get to a little bit of that guidance there. Ace of Swords. Wow. It's turned out to be a good one. And the Star card. What a beautiful lineup. So as we're jumping off with our Knight of Swords, which I, I've got that card up there, um, moving into our Emperor card, so I'll bring that card in. This is our, our father figure. He's great at leading. He's ultimately a pretty good guy. Um, he's not as uh, he's not as grounded as the Earth father figure, which is the King of Coins, but he's a very good dynamic because he's a good leader as well. He gets up and moves. So very much this month is you want to step into your um, masculine uh, dynamic personality as you're going to start just taking charge and going. A lot of brand new things are going to happen with the Ace of Swords coming in. This is fresh new beginnings, starts, especially things that are logical, mental, you know, of the air element. And with that, I believe, ba boom, will come some changes because today is the 16th day, which is the changes, the destruction, the clearing of the slate. But this card, next card, is our star card, which is all about rebirth, rebuilding, hope, and belief. So this month um, feels like there's going to be a lot of weeding and, you know, kind of restructuring. Um, we've seen that happen um, over the weekend. Most of you may have not have seen it, but uh, uh, there will not be a Cosmic Caffeine radio show tonight. Um, all of us got together and we'd all been feeling it, but nobody said anything. Finally, Jamie, you know, who is the um, originator, owner of the Cosmic Caffeine leader, she finally said to a few of us, are you feeling it? And we did, and um, moving on. She is definitely going to be doing something with video, with YouTube, probably like this. I'm sure you'll see us as a team doing something together. Um, but this is part of what we are sensing, and we are sensing it you know, just ahead, which um, a lot of the sensitive and psychic and clairvoyant and clairaudient people are feeling a little bit ahead of the um, uh, just the average person walking around who's maybe still awake. I mean, excuse me, still asleep, not quite waken, awakened up yet. So going to be a really cool, fun month. Um, you know, it's it's almost like spring cleaning type of thing, but it's more like chopping down. So get ready for that because the hope, the rebuilding is going to be right there. So very beautiful. Image came to me earlier um, when I was in my, my meditation time, a.k.a. my shower time. 
Um, and it, and I was just thinking, you know, what you can see cats walking around back here. Um, and I was just thinking, you know, my purpose sometimes, one of many of the things here, I believe one of the biggest reasons why we are here is to experience. I used to use the term learn lessons, but, but there's something about where we came from, from a spirit and all that is being, we know everything because we're part of that aspect of all that is, all that God energy, God source. So coming here, we, we are wiped, are clean, our slate is wiped clean, it seems. These are the things that resonate with me right now in my life, and a year from now, it'll probably be completely different. So when we come here, we're experiencing all that we can. And that resonates more with me than I'm in the school of life learning. Because I, because there's part of me that kind of feels like I already learned it all. Now I just, you know, I, I've forgotten it right now. So I'm coming at it blind with a blank slate, but I need to experience it. Um, almost like, you know, I always say I have no desire to go back to any age in my childhood. None whatsoever. I don't want to experience that crap again. And I'm, I'm different now, but I don't want to experience it again, period. Um, so I think we're here experiencing, 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 collecting all these experiences, bringing them back to source, to all that is, so that source can feel what it feels like to live in this body, to be human, to have to deal with emotions, to have to eat food, to have to poop, to wipe our butt, to have periods, you know, to... Um, to lose our hearing, to lose our sight, to have skin stuff go on, all the stuff that we're experiencing, all these different emotions um, over and over again. And the image I kept getting is, um, and I read it in a book, but it was so beautiful, is I feel like one of my purposes among many is, you know, I'm, we're all climbing up a hill to the same peak, many different roads, yada, yada. We've heard that before. And I'm reaching back down the hill and I'm grabbing someone's hand and I'm pulling them up to the platform I'm on. But I'm also looking up the hill who someone is reaching down to me and I'm pulling, they're pulling me up. So as someone lifts me up a little bit higher, I'm lifting somebody up and it's like a chain reaction going up, going up, going up. And that's what resonates and feels good to me. So all that I do here is, is part of that because someone is reaching to me, lifting me up. Um, you know, in many ways, shapes, form, I watch videos, I read books. You know, I have personal, you know, friends that I communicate with and text and Skype and, and email that are lifting me up a level, a platform, whatever it is, in growth, in enlightenment not any better than anybody else because you know as many as there are behind us still growing and enlightening there are that many above us growing and enlightening so keep reaching back pulling your people higher and higher as someone is lifting you higher and higher as well so all that being said um, have a wonderful day. No cosmic caffeine tonight. Tuesday night, my virtual lab class is going to be on animal communication. So I will uh, hopefully see you then. I, I know I've got several of you already signed up. Very excited about that. It's going to be how to communicate with them, get them to do what you want, scan their body for illnesses or problems. If they get lost, bring them home. Um, how to check in with them when you're on vacation. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Tuesday night, the Intuitive Messenger Show on Blog Talk Radio. No guests, just me, so we'll get a lot of reading done. So have a wonderful, wonderful week. Oh, and my first two virtual lab classes are still on sale, $12 each, and the archive version that runs through tomorrow. Um, you can find that on my uh, website, intuitivemessenger.org. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful month. Dive in with your Knight of Swords. Talk to you later. Namaste.